만약에 말이야 만약에 누군가 당신을 죽이고 내가 복수한다고 하면 당신은 뭐라고 할까? 어? 나 죽어야 하는 거야? 아니 만약에 말이야 At number one, and this has actually been a long time coming to be quite frank, NCSoft, the Korean developers, finally came out and released another trailer for what we came to know by the name Project M. Actually, what is described by the company as a dramatic thriller about a guy getting revenge on his lover's death. This is Unreal Engine 5, in case you're wondering, seems to be taking quite a bit of inspiration from Heavy Rain and a release date for it is still yet to be announced. I have a bad feeling about this. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move and you could catch her and end this war. Guys. Flying Wild Hog and Focus Entertainment, actually since the release of Shadow Warrior and Trek to Yomi from earlier this year, finally, about no more than 24 hours ago, came out and announced a release date of September 20th, 2022 for Evil West. To a company that they also revealed another trailer on what actually looks to be literally the most insane and unforgiven hack and slasher of this whole year. Check it out, this game's actually coming to all consoles and PCs. Yeah, that was predictable. See, a PlayStation State of Play event, in case some of you didn't really catch up, Sony went on and pretty much started off the whole thing with a reveal of the really long-awaited Resident Evil 4 Remake. Surprisingly, this game's releasing March next year and it is also being built for virtual reality headsets. Here's the trailer. The remake is, as you can see, bringing the action to the next generation of consoles only. If I could just forget what happened that night. Pain, even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. You, me. Big Durang is about to vacation, eh? Receive our most sacred body. It begins now. This is a good shot. Yeah, and I'll put arrows through both of us. You're switching with me. It's a snap mob. We're not gonna make it. 
Now, at number 5, we have Gorilla Games that also came out a few days ago with the State of Play showcase and went on and offered quite a bit of gameplay on Horizon Call of the Mountain. For those of you new, a VR game announced back in January this year as a brand new Horizon adventure and also featuring a new character in the same universe. Check it out. Call of the Mountains is actually planned as one of the launch titles for the PlayStation VR 2 and due out early to mid next year we hear. Do that and you shall be a free man. It will take all your wits, your skills, and courage. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time to climb. The Callisto Protocol, which was officially unveiled almost two years ago, in case you somehow missed out on a third-person horror IP from the same creator of the Dead Space series, hence the resemblance, is now releasing on all consoles and PCs December 2nd this year. Honestly, there's not a whole lot more to talk about with this one, except this trailer, if it's any indication, promises the most badass game this whole 2022. Check it out is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. that last part. Gives me chills every time. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands. Talk about hype though. At number 7, it's the old god of war Ragnarok. Well, technically the continuation of the father-son series of literally the best-selling PlayStation 4 game for the past few years. I've actually mentioned this one quite a bit, but once again, just in case you didn't catch up, God of War Ragnarok is coming to the PlayStation 4 and 5 late this year, and possibly to out around holidays, so keep it in mind. Is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? Crisis. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. Okay. 
In case you somehow missed it, Square Enix also finally released a new trailer for Final Fantasy 16 that was in addition to a release window of summer 2023 and supposedly the game is coming to the PlayStation 5 and PCs only, seeming to be some sort of a timed exclusive. Final Fantasy 16 is, as you can see, a single-player focused action RPG, like a lot of previous entries in the series, and this is how it actually looks like. It is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. In history. But their lies intoxicated you. You burned our homes and slaughtered our families. On the other hand, we have quite the same publishers of the new Lord of the Ring game, Gollum, Steel Rising, and a bunch of other good games in development. A pretty new game from only a month ago going by the name Hell is Us. But what technically speaking looks to be a time-traveling third-person action-adventure IP, and one pretty much being built using Unreal Engine 5, we hear. This is the trailer this game said to be coming to pieces in the next generation of consoles only sometime next year. decreased to a singular course. Remedy Entertainment also just came out with an update on the previously announced Max Payne 1 and 2 remasters or well, remakes? Probably remix. Well, not really sure, but they said Max Payne 1 and 2 probably won't be released anytime soon. Just in case you didn't know, these games are being developed in partnership with Rockstar Games. Other than that, all we know is that these games are being released into next generation of consoles only and possibly 2024. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow.
See, a couple of weeks ago, we actually came across an indie studio, actually totally brand new, going by the name, Euclidean Games, revealing what seemed to be a story-focused, souls-like action RPG, going by the name Nazareth, The Fallen World, which you could probably tell taking cues from Dark Souls, specifically 3, and one probably set in an open world too. Check it out, this game said to be coming to PCs only sometime next year. On the other hand, we have Forspoken, which is scheduled to be released on the PlayStation 5 and PCs October 11 this year. The game, for those of you new, is an open-world action RPG adventure, apparently a single-player only, coming from Square Enix and also the same team behind Final Fantasy XV, hence all the fast-paced resemblance in combat and movements. Check it out, this game is coming to the PlayStation 5 and PCs, and it'll be time-limited PlayStation exclusive for almost two years. Let's finish this. Nacon and, well, the kind of well-known developers you all know by Spiders, a couple of weeks ago finally announced the latest game we've been waiting to hear more about, going by the name Greedfall 2, The Dying World. This is actually a prequel to the previous Greedfall game. It is releasing for all consoles and PCs in 2024, and will to accompany the news, they only came up with a cinematic trailer. Take a look. At number 15 it is Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2, technically one of the biggest games in development now and most anticipated since reveal. Currently in development for Xbox Series X and PCs only, we're not sure but the game is actually rumored to be coming out early next year. There are also a couple of trailers for Hellblade 2 just in case you didn't catch up and I highly recommend checking them out as well. Here. Now, Gungrave Gore is on his way to both generation of consoles in addition to PCs, not Switch, and said to be coming out mid to late 
this year. For those of you new to the series, this game is actually touted as an action hack and slasher, pretty much just like the aforementioned Evil West, and this is probably one of the best trailers you probably missed for quite a while if you haven't seen already. So keep in mind, a specific release date for this game is still yet to be announced. want to create uh, any third person shooter we wanted to create a game that embodied the galactic warfare that you you come to know uh, from this, this franchise it is a passion piece for all of the people working at saber now after revealing the game with only a cgi trailer back in december last year saber interactive will finally came out with another trailer on warhammer 40k space marine 2. actually not much to talk about it's a pretty slight update we do know the new game is a next generation console game only and coming to pcs playstation 5 and xbox series x sometime next year check it out in case you missed it meters tall and um it's pretty amazing most human beings in this world will never see a space marine they're, they're the stuff of legends they're known as the angels of death his angels when one appears on the battlefield it's like seeing an angel of god well titus is, uh, you know he's been there done that seen more than all the other ultramarines he's an apex predator yeah everything he does with purpose everything with intention everything with extreme power. People who've read the books will have expectations about how space marines fight. And so that's been our guiding principle behind uh, the gameplay that we created. One of my favorite parts of uh, the trailer release at the Game Awards was watching the feedback that people gave afterwards. And I saw all this excitement over just a tiny few snippets of gameplay. And I just kept thinking, wait till you see what we got for you. Wait till you see what's next. We're creating a huge world. We really want to encourage uh, exploration above ground, below ground, to peaks, in castles. There's always something hidden and we're, we want to reward those players. I mentioned this one a couple of days ago, however, we have another trailer for it. What we have here, Flintstock The Siege of Dawn, is actually by the same folks who previously developed another game called Ashen. Flintstock, however, is said to be coming to the PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox consoles as well, in addition to PCs, possibly late this year. It is an open world action RPG with three major diverse zones, each offering a new environment inspired by New Zealand, basically where the development's company is actually Set. Check it out. We really want to bring the gorgeous New Zealand uh, native environment to the players that are around the world. So we did a lot of research on New Zealand geography, the native trees, plants, and even the local creatures such as Pokeko and the Moa. It's been a, a fun journey, like even looking at uh, our main character as an example has gone through so many revisions and now we finally have the annual. We always want to be on the pulse of what's going on. Curiosity drives us forward, leading us to explore the known and challenge the unknown. Coming up it is Asteragus, Curse of the Stars, another action RPG from an independent indie studio going by the name Acme Games. Well, what seems to be taking quite a bit of inspiration from Immortal Phoenix Rising, though more on the souls light side, this game is actually expected to be releasing about a few months from now and on PCs, Xbox and the PlayStation consoles too. Check it out in case you missed it. The righteous path is always fraught with danger. The curse of Aphis has proven this. And none of us should repeat the same mistake.
last but not least, actually Annapurna Interactive just a few days ago, back at the Sony State of Play, after quite a handful of delays, finally came out with the release date of a game called Shrey. Said it is now coming to PCs and the PlayStation consoles only July 19th. Here's another trailer. Stray, in case you aren't familiar with, is an adventure game about living the life of a cat in a distant future world where only robots have made it out alive on Earth.